Good morning, Jets fans. I am coming to you with some breaking news. The New York Jets have extended C.J. Mosley. The New York Jets are essentially redoing C.J. Mosley's deal because he was going to have a massive cap hit this year. And this extension replaces the last year of his current contract in 2024 and then gives him an additional year in 2025. Here's the quote. The Jets and linebacker C.J. Mosley have agreed to a two-year $17.25 million deal with $13.25 million guaranteed, replacing the final year of his old deal that had no leftover guarantees. The deal includes $9 million fully guaranteed in 2024. The captain of the defense is back. As I mentioned, it kind of takes what he was going to get in 2024 and spreads it over a couple of years, and it helps out the New York Jets cap, which, be, let's be honest, folks, they need to continue to do things to help out their salary cap. They could have restructured C.J. Mosley. They extend him. They could extend D.J. Reed and save $7.5 million this year. Uh, this move, roughly, if math serves correct, should free up about $13 million in cap space this year. And what I also like about this contract is that it fits in the Aaron Rodgers two-year window. So you keep Mosley, the leader of that defense, back for this season, as well as another run in 2025. It's a pretty big pay cut for C.J. Mosley, which love that for him. The Jets leaders have done that in back-to-back -back years. On the offense last year is Aaron Rodgers, who took a historic level pay cut. No one likes to mention that. Aaron Rodgers taking the historic level pay cut. On the defensive side this year, it's C.J. Mosley doing it. And again, that gets him some more guaranteed money, which is fantastic. Uh, but it also makes the Jets' lives easier to go out there and spend. They still need help as currently recording this, recording this. They could still use another offensive lineman. They could use potentially another wide receiver. Um, you know, th there's going to be things that they could do, maybe safety depth. They did some moves on the interior defensive line. They just unfortunately lost Quentin Jefferson earlier this morning. He signs with the Cleveland Browns. A little bummed out about that. He was good for the Jets last year. But they pay, you know, Javon Kinlaw big money. And it was kind of expected that... He was going to be the replacement for uh, Quentin Jefferson at this point. So moral of the story, C.J. Mosley comes back, takes a pay cut. And why am I happy about it? Well, he's still a really good leader on this defense. He, with the up-and-coming stars of Quentin Williams, Sauce Gardner, uh, Jermaine Johnson taking a, a step, Quincy Williams developing, C.J. Mosley is still the vet leader on that defense. And it's not like he's a veteran leader who, like, can't, play anymore he's also really good still 152 tackles in 17 games um it would have been nice if he caught a couple more interceptions this year apparently uh, he spoke with jake asman at was it the super bowl i believe uh, yeah it had to be the super bowl uh and was kind of joking about that because he he dropped a couple but um you know hit the drugs machine this offseason come back and let's get after it in 2024. Love C.J. Mosley. Just could not keep him on the roster this year for the $20 million cut. That's obviously, or the $20 million cap hit. That's not going to be what it is now after this deal. And, you know, what started as a interesting Jets tenure, right? Like, obviously, Mike McKagan goes out, resets the linebacker market. And we're like, oof, C.J. Mosley, good player. Is that's just a massive contract, but okay, let's see. Is the best player on the field week one in 2019, gets hurt in the first game of the year against Buffalo. The Jets end up losing the game, blowing the lead after he goes out. The Sam Darnold mono, mono game, you know, missed field goals, the whole thing. That was just a disaster of a game. He tries to come back, plays uh, against New England in what was the Seeing Ghosts game later that year, and then they shut him down after two games. He sits out the 2020 COVID season, probably a wise decision as they went two and 14. And then you're like, all right, like this guy got massive money. And in the first two years of his deal, even though, you know, he had every right to sit out if he wanted to in 2020, and he did. It ends up turning out to be fantastic from 2019, uh, from 2021 on. He was very good in 21, was a second team all pro in 2022, was a great player again in 2023. And like, Sneaky becoming a really, really good Jet, and I think is going to be remembered fondly for his time, which, if you ask me that in 2020 or 2019, like, not that it was his fault with the injuries or, you know, again, he had every right to sit out. You're just kind of like, man, the Jets paid this guy big money and we haven't really seen him yet, which was which was bizarre. It was, it was definitely strange, but great Jet. Happy for CJ Mosley. 
good deal for the New York Jets and Joe Douglas. Let's see what else they do today. Let me know your thoughts on the contract. I'm Matt O'Leary, and I'll catch you next time. 